Hey guys, it's uh, JP from uh, NewEnglandCopChases.com. Um, I don't usually do uh, cop chasing or anything during the week because uh, um, I'm a dad. I'm a full-time dad. And we're in the process of moving, so it's been hectic. So I went to pop online just a few minutes ago and found out like 87 people on the Facebook page were banned. Um, this stems from... Uh, um, one of our uh, younger admins, um, who happens to be a family member, um, ended up toasting some guy that's an admin of a page called um, Civilians Against Cop Lock. Um, and it's filled with a, you know, a bunch of sympathizers, cop sympathizers, family, and mostly police officers. Uh, pretty much all of them have, have some type of uh, law enforcement background, um, former cops. Um, and I just found out the founder is a cop that was fired um, because of a cop lock video five years ago. So uh, I've been like bombarded on the Facebook page by like all these supporters. And, and uh, the reason why I'm making the video is because my daughter, my three year old, was playing with my phone, uh, talking Tom um, because her tablet died, so I let her use my phone. And a call came in through the Facebook manager page uh, through Facebook and she answered and this guy literally threatened and uh, um, calling from this page um, on behalf of this page and threatened my three year old and was saying sexual comments um, and made her cry. So now it's personal. So I want to call people on my page, anybody that sees this, go on New England Cop Chase's Facebook page and no holds barred, free speech, nothing censored, toast these fucking cop loving suckers right down into the fucking dirt and make sure they know that they have to follow the public no matter what. Now the thing that I want to point out is um, this happened before. Um, there was this cop in Hillsboro that was targeting females, so I filed a complaint on him, and all his friends and family started bombarding my page. This is what cops do. Um, what they what they do is they don't have any control over the situation because their authority's taken away. So the only authority they have is start calling all these people to stick up for them, and that's the only power they got. So if they were comfortable for what they do and what they do, they wouldn't need people to back them up. Obviously, they're a bunch of little pussies, and they want to they want to have people speak up for them, um, and then pretty much stalk, troll, and go after people. So I want to nip this in the butt and call upon my my YouTube channel and people out there uh, that are on my YouTube channel. Um, I have four over four thousand subscribers, so I'm calling on my fans' help to go on the Facebook page. It's New England Cop Chases at Facebook. Um, there is a fake account called uh, New England Cop Chases Truthers or whatever. That's not it. It's just New England Cop Chases at Facebook. Um, and that other page was actually made by um, a uh, wife of a cop. Um, and, you know, when you do activism, you have your share of uh, haters. But, you know, this is, this is part. This happens, like, every six months. Um... But, you know, when, tar when cops start targeting you, we got to target them back. So here we go. Uh, so I'm calling on my YouTube channel and all my fans. Uh, and I'll be out this weekend. We're going to be doing a couple DUI checkpoints. And I'll see you then. Peace. Thanks.